It seems like everyone is launching some sort of a TV network with 18 hours of video being uploaded every single minute. I mean, how do you stand out? For, for us, for Evokes Television, we have a specific community that we're going for, which is called the LOHAS community, Lifestyles of Health and Sustainability. Evokes has a store component as well. So we have components of programming, a social community, and an online store. And when you put those three pieces together, there's a lot of interesting things that show up in that community. They look to you for a source of content that enriches or enlivens their livelihood. You know, like how does Evokes programming affect the quality of life for someone? Then you have products that help steer them to buy products that are sustainable and vetted in a particular way. And we're crowdsourced. We want to buy products that we feel good about. And if you knew that the product that you were wearing or you purchased had suffering on it, you wouldn't want to buy that product. And so our crowd helps us with that. And so why we're not the righteous, dogmatic, you should do this with your life brand. We're like, people are smart and people can make their own choices brand, you know? So in, in terms of, you can already see these videos on the internet and mm -hmm. they're also available on all the, what you call the OTT. Yeah, over the top, that's like Roku, your Apple TV boxes, mm -hmm. all the new smart TVs. That means Samsung smart TVs. You see the smart TV logos. Right. Sony, um, Philips, all the major brands now have some sort of internet-driven platform, and we'll be able to be launched on all of them by the end of August. So how have you been able to, you know, you're bringing in Ed Begley Jr. How is it, that, you know, with being such, you know, you're at Lean the start startup. Of, how were you able to attract someone like him? They were attracted type. to us. I mean, honestly, they, they heard what we were doing in the world. I don't have any other relationship with Ed other than someone I've respected for a number of years. But um, they heard about us. They heard what we were doing, and they aligned with our values. Well, we have Ed, actually, right here. Let's see if we can pull him up. Hey, Ed. How are you? I go Fantastic. You're joining us from, from Los Angeles, I believe, right? Yes, I am. I'm at my current green home. We're building a new green home about a mile east of us. And so you're going to be building this new green home on top of that. You're going to be working with Evokes. Yes, I'm looking forward to, the, to that. That's the perfect home for us. They really embody a lot of the same ideology, the same philosophy as me. What are you going to be doing for them? We've got a show called On Begley Street. Hi, my name is Ed Begley Jr. As an environmentalist, I'm always looking for ways to reduce my carbon footprint. Now I have an opportunity to build a state-of-the-art home with all the eco-friendly bells and whistles. This is gonna be a wonderful time, right honey? Right honey. It's gonna start off showing how we decided to remodel this home and we realized we didn't wanna put it in a landfill, so what are you gonna do with it? We wanted to recycle that home, all the various component parts, and from there we'll show how you can build anew uh, with the best green construction and we're going to try to hit lead platinum status, the highest rating for the rating system for homes and energy efficiency. And so uh, here we go. It's going to be quite an adventure. So why not choose uh, another network to air something like this on a more well-known network? Why not, you know, there's in there the Home and Garden Channel, there's Discovery, quite a few others. Been there, and those are wonderful channels, of course, but Evokes really speaks to our mission statement and what we're trying to do, the kind of mess we want to carry, uh, the kind of Lojas people that I've dealt with in the past, and I think it's the best fit for us. So we're very excited to be in Evokes. I can't imagine a better home. Fantastic. Well, Ed, it was great talking to you, and I can't wait to see your house. Hopefully, we'll be able to go down there and get a tour. You are invited. I would love to come see that. <laughs> now, with Ed, you're also going to be integrating um, that show into your retail shop. That's right. And offering some products. He's going to have his own little channel on there. Yeah, we're curating items from the shows and the episodes of On Bagley Street. So for every show, we have a list of the products that were in there. And, and by the way, those products weren't inserted in there before. We came after the fact and we started finding out, well, what are those products and what are the other price points for those products? Are you still concerned that it, it still could be um, seen as... A conflict of some sort? A, a conflict and also just, you know, advertising for particular products. I, I think it could. I think we have to walk a very fine line with that. Um, we're not an infomercial platform. You know, we are a quality of life platform and um, I think that there's great vendors that I want to showcase. And we should showcase. We want those vendors who are doing great things to show up in the market and get more market share in their brands. Mm -hmm. You know, that's part of our mission. Elevate great people doing great things and great businesses and organizations. It's a big vision. We got a lot to do, but we're really, we're, we're excited at the opportunity and we're inspired by our own vision. And I think yeah. that's critical, to be inspired by your own vision and have that guide you versus something else.